Hi everyone, welcome to Bubble 10. So this one we're gonna talk about changing the threshold. And the threshold is kind of um, where your values are set in terms of your sensors. So taking a look at Bubble 10, by default, your sensors change event fires every time the sensor changes value at all, even if it's by one. So you notice that the last bubble your Bubble nine, your buzzer was just going crazy. And because the threshold was like any times it changed. So for this one, we're gonna take a look at the light. Sorry, for this one, we're gonna take a look at um, the sound sensor as well. And we are going to change the threshold of the sound sensor. So the background color only changes when a really loud noise happens. Well, we'll see how loud it is. Um, but we are going to change the threshold property that allows us to set how much a sensor should change before considering it a actual change. And that's why they put it in quotation marks here. So setting the sound sensor to a different threshold would cause the sensor's change event only to trigger if it was increased by 100 or decreased by 100. So we're gonna take a look. Um, do this. This app changes the background color of the screen whenever the sound sensor failure changes but we only want it to respond to big changes. So first let's see if we run this, what's gonna happen. Notice how it's changing like crazy every time it picks up even the slightest little sound. So we want to, oops, we want to make it so it only changes by a very large threshold. And I would say we can take a look at what kind of thresholds we want, but, um, or we can take a look at what kind of threshold we want. So what we're gonna do is, let's at least take a look at our code here. I'm gonna move this up. So you'll notice that it, the onboard event is um, the sound sensor. So that's what we're doing and it's changing. It's based on what it's doing. So we're not clicking anything. It's just um, the sound sensor is gonna be changing and it's gonna set the property of the screen. So it's changing the screen. Remember, this is screen one, and it's changing the background color. And these random numbers are just picking random RGB codes. So RGB is red, green, and blue, and that different um, random numbers between zero and 255 for red, zero and 255 for um, green and 255, zero and 255 for blue, gives us different color combinations. And that's why it's changing um, to all those different colors. It's just random numbers that generates between zero and 255. And when you put all three together, it's like taking, you know, like when you're painting and you take um, red and blue and it makes green, that's where that color combinations are coming from, from the RGB. And um, hopefully you remember that sort of from when we did uh, web design. Anyways, so we want to take a look at this and we want to set our threshold. So let's go ahead and read this. So it says this app changes the background color of the screen whenever the sound sensor changes, but we only want it to respond to a big change, like a loud noise. We're going to use the sound sensor threshold block to fix it. So they want us to add a sound sensor threshold block before the event handler. So it's gotta be before this onboard. And we are going to do that by going to variables. And we're gonna pick this one here where it says assign a variable. We're gonna drag this over. And we are gonna find the sound sensor threshold. So just like what this says here. So let's go ahead and go to our circuit. And I'm gonna find sound sensor threshold. So I'm putting that right in that bubble where it had the X. And now I wanna create a threshold. So again, reading up here, if I do 100, it means it has to change by at least 100. So you could change, um, they suggest your threshold depends on how um, ambient noise in the room. So if there's a lot of people talking right now, um, you probably want the number to be larger. Uh, so, the larger the number, the louder or the softer it has to be for it to make big uh, big changes. So let's just start out with 100 and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna run. Ba, 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 ba. 
Uh oh, it's not doing anything. Okay, I'm gonna reset. And maybe we'll do less. Let's do 10 and run. Okay, so it's got a pretty good threshold. I mean, it's not changing crazy, um, but it's definitely changing a little bit just based on my voice. So let's reset and let's do um, maybe 50. Obviously, folks, that as you're doing this, if the room is really loud, it probably will change more, but run. Ah! Notice how it changed um, when I yelled really loud, sorry. Ba ba ba! There. Um, so, but it's not changing so much with just my normal voice. So that is how we change the threshold. So it's not um, constantly changing, it's pretty drastic. And that's what the word threshold means. It's just changing it so there's a certain standard or level of sound. Um, or number that it has to be. And I set mine to 50. So that's bubble 10.